Welcome, and thank you for choosing to construct the chronograph kit. To stick the base together, I recommend using good quality PVA wood glue as it gives time to line up parts and can be wiped off with a damp cloth. Alternatively, you could use super glue, which will be required later in the assembly, or some other adhesive that works with wood. The parts for the base come in the large bubble wrap bag. In addition to the wooden components, there are some other parts. I suggest keeping them in a suitable container until they are acquired. However, you can use the red 180 grit abrasive paper to sand down any rough edges if you wish. As the wooden parts are laser cut, it's pretty obvious which way up they should go. It is possible to sand off these marks, but the top layer of ply is quite thin, so I wouldn't recommend it. Push the corner joints together. They are quite tight, so no glue is required. It's a good idea to practice arranging the base before starting to stick things. Notice how the slots for support screws line up. This is what the base should look like. Use the diagonal lines at each corner to help line everything up. To stop glue from leaking out onto the visible parts of the base, just apply a thin line of glue around the inside edge. Leave gaps either side of the screw slots as there is a gap around each on the next layer. Check the next layer is the right way up and position it carefully. It doesn't matter if some glue squeezes out on the inside as it won't be seen. If any glue does squeeze out on the parts that are going to be polished, quickly wipe it off with a damp cloth as it will show up under the wood polish. Now apply another thin line of glue around the inside of the next layer. Carefully position the top layer of the base. Once you are happy everything is lined up, rest something heavy on the base whilst the glue dries. If you are using PVA glue, an hour should provide enough time for the glue to have set sufficiently. You'll now need the seven circular wooden spacers from the fixings part of the kit. Empty the package into your container and pick out the spacers. Place them in the correct position to familiarise yourself with where they need to be stuck down. I would recommend using super glue for this part of the assembly, although you could use PVA or some other adhesive if required. I like super glue as it's quick and I'm impatient. The downside is that you don't get much time for positioning things with super glue. Whichever glue you choose, apply a thin line of it around the inside of a spacer, guide it into place visually with the hole beneath. When it's in position, rest it in place. Alternatively, you could use one of the long brass screws to help line up the spacers. Just try not to get it stuck in the hole. If it does stick, you can always unscrew it. And this is what it should look like so far. To stain and polish the base, you'll need the package with the glove label on it. You'll just need the container of polish, the vinyl gloves and a sheet of newspaper. Store the other bits from the bag in your container. Apply the polish with some lint-free cloth. Try and apply an even coat of polish in the line of the grain, although a bit extra in the nooks and crannies can add to its appearance and don't worry if polish gets stuck within the engraved lines and letters. Leave the first coat to dry for about 15 minutes and then buff up the first coat with a clean piece of lint-free cloth. It should end up with a beautiful shine. It's now important to wait for a couple of hours for the polish to set properly. If you apply another coat too soon it will lift off the first coat. Time to admire your handiwork and have a nice cup of tea. 
Repeat the polishing process, applying several more layers until you are happy with the result. When finished, it should have a beautiful deep sheen. Four layers of polish produce this finish.